Thank you very much, Adil, and good morning to everyone. We have to on time. We're sleeping there, missing a lot of things. No problem. We have to go on time because uh, punctuality is the key of success. So this is my clinic, uh, the Revival Clinic in Mumbai area. We are having 30 beds, daycare home for the Arabic medicine, Islamic medicine, and Arabic uh, hijama cupping therapy, cauterizations, <coughs> benefactions, Rukia Sharia, and a lot of more things. We are forgotten by all. We are doing it all in very dignity. So, this is Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. God bless you all things to poor whole day. So special thanks to OMAX group people, without them we cannot gather here. Thank you very much OMAX. Workshop on Arabic medicine, hijama cupping, facet cauterization and Rukia Sharia is my topic. We are doing workshop on the Arabic medicine, hijama cupping, facet cauterization and Rukia cupping therapy. The aim of this workshop is To prove that forgotten Arabic medicine, hijama cupping therapy, cauterizations, facet, and rukia sharia therapy have hidden power to cure all those medical, social, and mental problems which are still untreatable and managed by modern medicines. Continue of this workshop is basic of Arabic medicine method, mode of treatment, and results. Continuous disorder of basic of Arabic medicines method, mode of treatment and results, basic of hijama cupping method, mode of treatment and results, basic of facet beneficence method, mode of treatment and results, basic of cauterization method, mode of treatment and results, basic of rukia sharia method, mode of treatment and results. Kernel of Arabic medicine, hijama cupping and facet therapy. So you have to know what is Arabic medicine, what is Islamic medicine, and what is the Tibbanavi. The three terms are there, you have to know what is this, then we proceed. Arabic medicine means the therapy from the Gulf region. The therapy from the Gulf region is known as the Arabic medicine. Islamic medicine means the therapy from the Quran and Hadith. The two books, uh, one, one is the practical knowledge and one is the uh, means uh, God's book. Tibbanabi <coughs> means the therapy from the Hadith. It's the only way of life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu What is the unique in the Arabic medicine? A lot of things are there, we are doing how this thing, this thing. But what is unique in the Arabic medicine? I just want to teach it all because there are 414 Arabic medicines are there, they are practicing there. But we have to only concentrate on the unique thing of the Arabic medicines, which is not popular in the world now. Unique additions are hijama cupping, cauterization. Fasad Venusation, the Benabi Islamic way of life, Bakhur Aromatherapy, Rukia Sharia, and many more. So we just first start for only the uh, 
means brief introduction of hijama cupping we are just lying on the patient on the submed and just just putting putting some cup on some region and we are doing the cupping we do explain afterwards these are cups we are putting on the cervical area it's a very nice therapy if you are having the pain in the cervical area you have to put the cup on that area and remove the uh, that detoxification material from that area you will get nice result with this thing without medicine the pain is cure we can put the cup on head also for the mental elements and for the bp patients it is safe to child also this is a material coming out from the red dissociation parts cauterization just see the results and just uh, giving the brief introduction to these therapies this is the pre treatment this is the post treatment this is a pre treatment this is a post treatment this is a pre treatment and this is a post treatment imagine this is this is a carcinoma of lip rejected by the tata institute of uh, mumbai and Three three lakhs uh, fifty thousand more than that rupees we invested in only investigation. She came to me. I did the cauterization. I will explain it in very brief. Just wait for it. Just see. Hematoma. We are treating hematoma with this thing also. Within five minutes, no problem. Playing with the fire. this is the result for multiple warts are there there is no scar all warts are gone after my cauterization treatments the third one is venification in this uh, therapy we just uh, <laughs> putting some needle inside direct main basic vein and we can treat the patient for the blood pressures metal distribution and lot of other things fourth one is tibinavi the islamic way of life here we can play with the caries aloe vera antimony figs citron miswak sawak and this is abolition the way of life of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are just following that bahul is a very nice treatment for the bp patients and uh, depression patients we just put some medicine inside uh, one bahul instruments and we just uh, light it on and all the fume will uh, pass it over in the room and mood elevation is take place without medicines lot of uh, bp patient metal dissipation patients and a uh, lot of uh, depression patient we treat with this medicine these are the roots of oud <coughs> we also make the max uh, chocolate cakes of roots rukya shariyam is a supplication from the quran and hadith we are just uh, reciting the some supplication from quran and hadith these are the list of that supplication we are doing for the war with the paramilitary forces the concept of amale kai and fasal are also practiced in ayurveda and they are called as agni karma and siddha vidna but you might also know it out
So, what is the basic principle of <coughs> Arabic medicines? First line of treatment is yes, we are putting honey. Honey is the light laxative or mild purgative. Only mild purgative or laxative. Hardly laxative and mild purgative. Then in first line of treatment, we are putting the honey inside the patient's mouth. Okay? If the laxation takes place, no problem. If it's not treated with this, we go for the second one. It's a hijama cupping. The target detoxification. Means you have having the pain in the cervical region, having the pain in the lumbar region, you have to put the cup on that region. We just make the cut from there and we just remove the blood from that area. The pain will go forever without medicine. Third one, if it's not working, we go for the third one, cauterization, total irrigation of that parts. You see in that pictures, yeah, total irrigation needed in that, uh, that uh, patient. So we did the irrigation there. Fourth line, Rukia Sharia, if this, all three are not working, the fourth line of treatment is Rukia Sharia, the war with the paranormal forces, we just uh, place some uh, recession from the Quran and Hadith, and this will cure the patient. Islamic medicines, Islamic medicines, uh, I'm having one institute from 1997, Islamic Institute of Dawa and Dua, we founded it out in Mumbai area, and we are doing the nice treatment with this slogan. Our slogan is, there is cure for every disease, but after the last permission. If God would not help you, you cannot treat the patient. You have to take the, the, take the means permission from the God. If God will permit, you can treat the patients. Now what is Islamic medicines? The medicines and the way of life which is used or prescribed by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are 414 in numbers. Few are black seeds, honey, dates, olive, salt, milk, meat, hijama, cauterization, fasad, and many more. So, we are just switching now to the first unit treatment, most controversial part of the now, cauterization. Remember, cauterization is disliked by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but it is not prohibited or haram. This uh, is disliked by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because if you put uh, some rod on some part of the body, you will dislike it out. No, I don't want to do it out. But there is the cure. Inside this, uh, there is the cure in it, but I don't want to do it out on myself. If, uh, if you means, uh, erase out the, this pain factor with the xylope in this thing, we can take the benefit of this therapy to our patient. Look how I'm doing it out. Did you know the smell of henna and the taste of honey also disliked by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Healing in three things. This is the hadith. Honey, hijama and cauterization. But I disinclose. Explanation I have given. If uh, we put some rod on some patient, directly rod and on some patient, it's very p painful for him. Post-treatment pain is not uh, liked by the Prophet. Because of that, he dislikes it out. Surgeons are doing it from decay. We are not stopping them. Benefit of cauterization again the surgical cuttings. If you do the cuts from the surgical blade, and uh, uh, on the second second patient we are doing the cuts with the cautery machine. What is the benefit we are getting from the cautery machine? I am just explaining it out. If you cut it with the blade, blood is uh, running off from that part. With the cautery machine or cautery gun, we cannot get the blood from that area. Recurrence is not there in the cauterization and there is no scar if you are doing with the pressure line. 
If you do it with the pressure line on the area, you will not get the scar. If the master, if you begin the master of cauterization, there is no scar after the cauterization on the part of the body. This is my cautery machine. Power supply, and this is the control. This is the leads we are using for the cauterization. Various gold plated lead. This is the cautery gun. We just This is doctor with gun. Whole photo to show how long I'm doing it out. We are putting some xylocaine, two percent xylocaine, to the dead parts. After that, local xylocaine two percent. After two minutes, pull up and do the cauterization with the cautery gun. That's enough. Means you have to put the two percent xylocaine inside that part, and after the two minutes you can do the cauterization of that part. It's very easy to do it all in your clinic also. Do not forget to burn the root of the lesion. That is the main thing. You have to burn the root of the lesion after cauterization of surface cauterization. Just see. On the eye, this patient is uh, refused by the eye surgeon. I did it on my clinic only. I will show the result afterwards. Just see, this patient, second one. This is a multiple words patient. Did not shave. <laughs> this is not she from the beginning, yeah. You come to me. This is a hematoma. So the results. This is pre-treatment and the post-treatment. After one minute only. There is no bleed. The scar will gone within seven days. Uh, with the bitter in this thing, you have to take care of the scar. It's bipolar. Uh... No, it's a unipolar. A unipolar. Yeah, I'm using the unipolar one. Let's see the results. A lot of slides are there, you have to go very fastly because a lot of things I want to show to you in this uh, very short time. Let's see. Pre-treatment, this is the post-treatment results. This is the pre-treatment and this is the post-treatment results. Pre-treatment, this is the post-treatment results. Pre-treatment, this is the post-treatment results. Pre-treatment and the post-treatment results. Pre-treatment, post-treatment. This is the second day for this. I put, this is the first day, this is the second day, and this is the 15 days after. Look at this. Just imagine how she is eating for three years. So there is one center, Planet Health. I'm doing it off from 2002. This is a recent case, just see, on the eyelids. This is the post treatment. We mostly indicate it in the viral words, skin lesion, birth skin defected, and many more skin conditions. Means I'm just using cauterization in skin problems only. A lot of the skin problems are treated with this medicines. But uh, also we, I can add this thing if uh, some researchers are there. You can put uh, cauterization for piles, this thing, and a lot of other things also treated with the cauterization. We have to do the more research on this thing. First, cauterization. 
method of facet pole method they puncture the main vein of the body with the various instruments and in new method we are just puncturing the vein with the scalp vein number 18 butterfly needles i will show how this is old treatment they putting the this uh, blade on main veins of the body i will show the photograph of how they are doing in the old time just see here 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 these are the old photograph they are doing in the means the englishmen also doing it out huh, from decays this is the proof for them here this is Just see. Now we just putting skull vein directly to the vein, and we'll get nice result, especially in the varicose vein. And the BP patient, we are getting very nice results. We just directly puncture the patient with the skull vein, and we are getting nice result with this therapy. And very easy to put. On it, 18 number scar we just put inside the vein, very close vein, and we'll get the result nicely. Benefit: blood pressure, mental disturbances, very close vein, skin diseases, and many more. Now we are coming to the main part: hijama cupping therapy, my favorite. and love it out to do a workshop on this thing so we starting the hijama workshop this is hijama cupping the world best medicine by dr mohan dubey id india mumbai my website is www.drmohindubey.net my email id is drmohindubey@hotmail.com my number is 9890070824 Hijama cupping is nothing but the future of detoxification therapy. It's my center, our Hijama cupping cure center. First, we learn the Islamic prospectus of the Islama Hijama cupping, a cure to every disease, pain, and element by Allah's permission. Hijama cupping in the Islamic perspective, a cure for every disease, pain, and elements by Allah's permission. Al Hijama and introduction. Al Hijama is an Arabic or origin word which literally means to suck, to restore to the basic size, to diminish the volumes, to reduce in size, is returned to the body back to the natural state. <coughs> There is also a word, uh, verbs ahma, ajama means to withdraw. or retreat from the attacks now this is a price a patient who perform cuffing saying it is remove blood lighten the back and sharpen the eyesight the above quote as these are clear that the cuffing was prescribed by nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself and strongly recommended by him It is related that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was cupped when he was sick. He was cupped in the different location of his body according to his need, on his head, on the upper part of his back, thighs, on the back of his feet. These three days are very important in the 17, 19, and 21st in the Hijama therapy. During the middle of the lunar cycle, the moon aggregates all the water on the earth, creates a stronger tide. It is also the time of the month where bleeding from the cup is more intense. Intense bleeding can weaken people, but it is good to receive cupping while everything is aggregated so that the cupping can remove it out. This is a chart. 
the tide and low tide and high tides. Best time for hijama preparation before the hijama, preparation after the hijama, according to the sunnahs are the best time of the day to receive cupping after Fajr, Tulu Aftar, Sunrise, before Maghrib, Guru Bay Aftar, Sunset. Because at this time, toxic blood is closest to the surface of the body, keep in mind that Nabi Sallallahu received cupping at different times of the month. This is implies that the hijama can be performed at any time if necessary. Preparation of hijama. It is best to take a shower immediately after receiving the hijama therapy. If you cannot take shower, it is important to take rest for one hour after hijama. Noted by Aisha Rajadalana, the Bishwam used to take a bath on account of sexual deformation on the Friday and hijama and washing the dead. Nabi Sassam cupping on an empty stomach is the best. It is the cure and the blessing in the improve the intellectual and the memory. So cup yourself with the blessing of Allah on Thursday. Spicy diets or exertion, sexual intercourse, excess cold and water burning is avoid after the hijama. Recommended after hijama, proper hydration, light diet, bed rest for one hour. Hijama point according to sunnah, there are nine sunnah points that are there on the part of the body. This is Yaqub, this is Abdain, these are the Arabic terminologies. The Kamduha, Khalil, the barak and the food points. Nabi Sassam used to treatment of hijama on the both sides of the neck, on the carotid arteries and between the two shoulders. It's Tirmidhi Rivaya. Nabi Sallam used to undergo cupping on the head and between his shoulders and used to say, who will remove this blood, it will harm that it does not take any other medical treatments. According to Javier, Nabi Sallam also cupped on his hip to relieve some pain thereafter. Several years back, our Prophet Sallam has emphasized on hijama, Chinese melody has Blue that the body contains meridians. These meridians are pathway in the body which the energy of the life called qi and qi follow through every body parts, tissue and organ. Cupping therapy is mainly performed on the one back because there are five meridians on the back. When these meridians are open, the interstitial energy is able to flow through the whole body. Another healing aspect of hijama, release of the toxin in the body, suction from the cup can penetrate deep into the tissue, causing the tissue to release the harm toxin, triggers the lymphatic system, clears the blood vessels, stress and acute the skin. New advance in the technology and material has been integrated with the cupping therapy and it is used now, range from many different treatments and applications. The prison said, Jibreel al salam upon me to restore the cupping to the extreme that I fear that cupping will be met compulsory. There are many authentic hadiths that the Prophet use of hijama for the himself and for the recommendation for everyone to disuse cup as preservative and curative medicine. He disused hijama at a different time, including while he was fasting and in haram. 
There are many authentic. Uh, sorry. Cupping is the best remedy recommended by Nabi Sadasan. Nabi Sadasan said, indeed, the best of remedies you have is cupping hijama. Nabi Sadasan said, for the self who had the profit of hijama and it cupped him, Bukhari. 3.481. I heard Nabi Sassam said, Is there any healing in your medicine? Then it is, is hijama, a gulf of honey branding with the fire cauterization, but that suit the element, but I did not like to be cauterized, branded with the fire. Another question, the Bishwasam was cup on the head for one side headache while he was in Aram, Bukhari. The Bishwasam was cup while he was fasting, this is Bukhari 5694. The Bishwasam took the treatment of hijama on the both sides of his neck on the carotid artery and between his shoulder and paid the copper his fees. It is had the haram, we could not have paid it Tirmizi. The best medicine you have treated yourself with the hijama is the saying of the Prophet. Nabi Sassan said, on the night of Asra, this association to the heaven, he did not pass by any angel except that is the said to him, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, order your Ummah nation with the cupping, hijama. Tirmizi, this show the importance and greatness of this Sunnah. Using cupping privately, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said, wherever wants to perform cupping, then it's best to search for the 17, 19 and 21st. Let none of you allow his blood to range balls such this killed him. Indeed, in the cupping there is cures. A lot of hadiths are there, I'm just skipping them. Coming to the main point. During the Battle of Khyber, 7H, with the Jews, a Jewish woman prepares some meat which she filled with deadly poison and penetrated to the Nabi Sallallahu Upon testing the meat, the poison affected Nabi Sallallahu Nabi Sallallahu then used to undergo cupping in order to rid him from the effect of poison in his blood. Tirmizi. Hijama is kind of the black magic. Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu said, Hazrat was undergone the effect of the black magic, he did hijama on head. It showed that the black magic can be cured with the help of hijama. If shaitan is round in your blood, you can take the uh, wrong blood from your body and you can cure, cure for the black magic. Nabi Sallam was one hard on his leg. Once, probably due to the clogging of the blood, he undergo cupping on the leg, Mishkar. Reported by the Hakim in the Mishkar, and he attended with the Imam uh, Dabi. Anas bin Malik was reported that the, when the weather became extremely hot, seek as in the cupping, do not allow your blood to ragging, this is kill you. This is the material of cupping. And this is keeping out of this and coming to the scientific point now. These are the pictures of cupping. What is hijama cupping? Now, the scientific part of the hijama cupping. What is hijama cupping? Hijama in Arabic means sucking. It is the Arabic name in the traditional medicine 
for the therapeutic wet cupping where blood is drawn by the vacuum from a small excision for the therapeutic purpose. It is reported that the Islamic Prophet Muhammad said, indeed the best of remedies, you have hijama. And if you have, there was something accident to be used as a remedy, then it is hijama. What is the main principle of hijama cupping? Is a detoxification. What is the main aim of a, uh, hijama? Release of the congestion from the part, inflammation, blockage, toxin free, the affected part. This is the main aim. Procedure, very simple. Hijama can be performed almost anywhere on the body, often the site of the egg or pain, to order to erase or elevate it out. Yeah. yeah, five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, four five minutes. Yeah, ten minutes will be good. There are other sites of hijama cupping for the acne, for the head, for the main consistency, for the tumors, for thyroids, for the knee pain, for the back pain, for addiction, for eyesight for the sciatica and for the mental health. Metal of the hijama copy. The location is the first shave. If necessary to ensure the tightening seal with the cup, the mouth of the cup seal, plastic cups are generally used all through traditional horn they are used in place on the skin and the side chosen for the hijama, then a tight seal is cotton inside the vessel so that the mouth of the cup clinging to be the skin. Some practitioners now use a machine instead of the manual cupping. Some practitioners still strictly adhere to the profit method with the use of fire. Both of the sterility and the benefit of the profit um, properties from the elements of the fire. Except that they may be present the cup in the left to clean the skin for the few minutes. Then it is lifted out for the several small skis and I will uh, do the benefit. We just put the cup on some part of the body. After 10 minutes, we just remove the cups. We do the cuttings. Again, we do put the cup on the same, same part of the body and detoxify it out of the red parts. It's very easy to do it out. In one or two sessions, you can learn how to do hijama. of hijama cupping. The oldest record of the hijama cupping is in the Abel Papyrus. Oldest rules of the cupping in the 1550 BP by Egyptian. China started cupping in 1000 BC. Greece is in the 400 BC and Islamic hijama Arabic medicine cupping in 500 AD. Country who practice hijama cupping today, China, Arabic region and now from 20 years, India. What is the difference between the Chinese and hijama, Arabic hijama cupping therapy? Very brief. Different between the Chinese and Arabic hijama cupping therapy. China are doing the dry cupping and the Arabic are doing the wet cupping. And they are the Meridian base and Arabic Mijama cupping or the Sunnah base. History of your Arabic Mijama cupping, I'm just uh, skipping it out. Very, very simple type of cuppings, dry cupping and wet cupping. Dry cupping means we're just putting the cup and leaving it out, this is the dry cupping. And wet cupping, after the dry cupping, we just cut on that part that is the wet cupping. These are types of cupping, dry, wet, fire, oily and many more. I'm just giving you a brief introduction to this. Technical types, dry cupping, wet cupping, massage cupping, flush cupping, oily cupping and cupping without oil. Power suction, light, medium, strong, 
and extra strong. Method of suction related fire cupping, manual cupping, electric cupping, and peri internet cupping. Material inside the cup related is a herbal, ice, water, ozone, hot or moxa, needles, and magnetic cupping. Area related types electric cupping, abdominal cupping, facial cupping, orthopedic, gynec, a special point for the main, ophthalmic cupping, ocular, and neurotic cuppings. Different cupping instruments are there. You see it out in their brief. This is the timeline of uh, cupping therapy. Horns from 2000 BC to 1000 BC. Bamus from 1000 BC to 1st century. Metal cup from 1st century to 9th century. Copper cups from 9th century to 12th century. Copper cups. Glass cup from 12th to 19th century. Glasses cup from 19th century. And wireless cupping in the 20th century. These are different types of cuff. One to six numbers are there. One, one number is very short in size and six number is big in size. We are using the disposable cupping instruments. We are using disposable shillings. Why not disposable here mug cups? Plastic never water clo or clean with the hot or boiled water. So we are using the disposable cups. These are types of surgical blades. 11, 16, 21, 26. 11 is very best for the cupping. Cupping add-ons, these are glows, face marks, this uh, gone and that. This is the oil, different selection of oil are there. After cupping, we just go for the cadenous oxide and betadine lotion for the take care of the scars. These are the guns we are using for the cupping. These are the chase, kidney tree, and shavers. Modern trains are waiting. A lot of silicon cups are coming, prune embolizers, and this is the broadband cuppings. They're coming with very nice and very high cushions. Modern train cuppings, tele cuppings, skin cosmetic cuppings, silicon cuppings, fire cuppings, glass cuppings. Prone browser cuppings, wireless cupping, screen cupping, internet broadband cuppings. Different between the cupping, leaching, and faucet and blood donations. And just keeping this all. If you want to ask in the coffee break, you can ask it out to me. And just coming to the now, only one five or ten minutes, I'm just concluding my session. New concept in the hijama cupping therapy. We, are, we just develop two words, VOD and TOD. This is the main basic main principle of to, how to treat the patient. Vital organ detox and the target organ detox. When patient first come to you, we go for the vital organ detox first. Yes, detoxification from the vital organs, heart, lungs, kidneys, liver, and stomach. We just Detox is out for the vital organ, then go for the target organ detox. If having the pain in the means, uh, knee, if having the pain on the back, if having the pain on the shoulder, we also put the cup on that side also. I'm just skipping something and just coming to the last point. Scar management is very necessary to treat the patient with the cupping therapy, especially for the diabetic patients and the patient who is taking the uh, this, uh, anti, anti um, and, uh, BP patients are we have to take the care of the scars.
We are going, yes, I'm just adding one thing. How to make the nice cut, horizontal or vertical? We are doing the vertical cuts on the 45 degree angles. That is best for the puppy. Worldwide is expansion now. A lot of celebrities are doing the cupping therapies. Worldwide. Yeah. Case study by me in Revival Clinic ID in 5C India. We are having three centers all over India. A lot of different branches are there all over India. And we are collecting results from that centers. To prove that the Hijama cupping we already TOD points detox whole body and make it toxin free and cure all the major complicated illness. For this, uh, we did uh, 23 national events, 73 public speeches, and 123 hijama camps, 8 international conferences, and we collect the results. According to the improved study, the top 20 disease condition in which cupping is commonly implied, we were paying 300 study, hyperduster 91 study, cuff and asthma 70 study, acne 29 study, common cold 210 studies, Articadian 81 study, Latin Rotis 61 studies, and a lot of studies are <coughs> done by me, and I will show the results. Main results are. We found in all illness, cupping have miraculous results. Conclusion. <coughs> cupping were tendency to cure all the major illness which are still untreated with the modern medicines. Overall results are all type of pain gone after hijama cupping to take cancer egg. E air egg, abdomen pain, mental pain extra in one session only. Varicose wind, we treated in three sessions. A slip disc disorder, vertebral dislocation in four sessions. High cholesterol in two sessions. High sugars, high uric acid, serum bilirubin in three sessions. Cancer pain, pain, patient did not need morphine after the cupping. Brain hemorrhage, cardiac diseases, and all lung diseases need four sessions to cure. Thyroid, both hyper and hypothyroidism need only three sessions to cure. Injected access pain in one session without pain. Tennis elbow treat with fully. Psoriasis, eczema, and other skin injection uh, infection needs four sessions. Frozen shoulder, cervical spondylitis, lumbar spondylitis, hemiplegia need four sessions. Alopecia in four sessions, lycodermia in four sessions, acne in four sessions. Allergic granulitis in four sessions, sinusitis and nasal polyps in four sessions, eye boosting in four sessions, mental retardation, BP, sugar, concentration, loss, ten tennis elbow, thyroid, hormonal disbalance, gout, arthritis, and all untreatable elements magically fully treated with the hijama cabin in four sessions only. Conclusion? You cannot got all this benefit in a single medicine or therapy. So why not my world could do this nicely? Hijama cupping is world best treatment. These are results. This is the whooping eczema. Patient is treating with uh, three or four months. This is the only result after four days. This is the result after seven or eight days. Let's see the difference. This is the back of the patient. Same patient. See the results. Only cupping, no medicine. Thank you. Well, of course, the doctor follows uh, his, Not a thing to uh, his, uh, uh, the knowledge of this man. But when we compare with Chinese medicine, that is my, my speciality. It's very easy to know that the tendinomuscular channels are so near from skin, and we, when we talk about perverse energies, that the capping and also with the shoe and with the shoe points of the of the back have real for us a, a real a very close knowledge 
and uh, for its application. No? So this goes in force with the effectiveness that doctors have shown us. Uh, any questions? Please. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, I just would like to know what are the side effects for the toxicity of cutting? Is there a I just would like to know what are what are the main I mean you know side effects, side, side effects or toxicity okay. from if, those who are using the, the okay okay the if you if you use the repeated cup or usable cup the blood disease will transport in the that part if you are using the disposable cup there is no side effect at all we are not putting anything inside the body okay we just detoxificate out that parts okay. We just uh, remove the blood or the, the stick blood from that part. There is no side effect. You have to take care of the scars, okay? You have to take the care of the scar for the, especially for the diabetic patients and for the patient who has taken the aspirin and heart treatment, heart element treatment. For anemia, you have to take care of the anemia. Hydration, you have to take care of the hydration. And for the old patient, elderly patient, you have to take care of the, that patient. For the rehydration, this thing. Yeah, yeah. This is what I meant. I mean, you yeah. know, the scar which which are caused by the cupping. Yeah, of course. Uh, 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 and you it to, doesn't cause you, any you sort of. You have to learn how problem. to do the scar on that part. That's the main thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, much. Please. Yeah, of course. We, we are putting the cuts, a lot of cuts. In, in one cup, we have uh, exactly near about 60 to 70 cuts we are putting in one cup, in a big size cup. In a small cup, we are putting uh, 20, 25 scars. If, if you are putting uh, more than 10 cups, 250 scars on the body, so we have to take care of the patient with the tetanus toxide. We have to put the tetanus toxide on the cupping. So take care of the scar. Tetanus is uh, having no treatment. It's only prevention. So we have to take care of that patient. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, of course. Uh, but uh, why, why to take the risk? Why to take the risk? Your patient is coming, is telling I, I already taken or not taken. You become safe after giving the tetanus oxide to the patient. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Yeah, please. I'm not hearing you, please. Mike, please. Are there any standardization of the deepest of the scary facing method that you use to your patient? Uh, according to the histology of the skin, there are five layers of yeah, the skin. Yeah, of course, of course. So, uh, so well, when you're putting the cups on some part of the skin, the pressure of that cups is uh, near about 100 lbs, okay? We can suck it out from the uh, tennis you know, below the skin, okay? So we just uh, means uh, detoxificate out the material from the tennis below the skin, and this uh, drainage will take place inside the skin. That part is uh, drained out from that part, and we get the cure from that area, okay? Thank you. A lot of uh, other things I skipped already having a uh, missed point how to put the cup on other part of the body. You can see, or you can meet me in coffee break, we'll do it out. It's a very long topic is there, but I'll just keep it out. A lot of uh, other, this is the <laughs> main the disease points are there. Where to put the cup in disease, this is a point chart, only one, five minutes, I will complete it out. For, <coughs> For vital organ detox, we are putting eight cups on the body. First one on the, yeah. um, can I know? Yes, yes. Yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah. Men, you... Okay, no problem. So one on the spinal cord, second one on the heart, third one on the back side of the patient, third one on the lungs, both one, uh, three on the, two on the kidney, one on the genital organs, four, one for the liver, one for the stomach. This is the vital organ detox we are doing. Just write down, it's very important. 
When target organ dissolves, we are putting the cup on the any side of the target we are getting. For blood pressure, we are putting the cups on the back side, nine points are there on the back. Just see, this is the chart. For rheumatism, we are putting 10, 10 points on the back. This is the chart of the right knee. For paralysis patient, we are putting the chart, 13 points are there on the back side. For sciatica patient, nine point on the back side. For cervical spondylitis, eight point on the back side. Lumbar spondylitis, nine point on the back side. Uric acid deposition, nine point on back, four point on the front side. Fatigue patient, eight on the back. Frozen shoulder, five back, one front. Immunity boosting, nine back, one front. Blood pressure, nine back, one front. Abdominal pain, five back, four front. Chest pain, nine back, two fronts. Only two fronts. Diabetic, five back, one front. Asthma, seven back, one front. Male points are four back, five fronts. Female points, four back, six fronts. Retention of urine, four back, five fronts. Insomnia, nine backs. Depression, 12 back, one front. High cholesterol, nine back. Obesity, six back, six front. Eye side boosting, two front. Sinusitis, three backs, two fronts. Acne, three back, two fronts. Migraine, seven back. And this is our results. See the patients. We're putting the cup on this uh, patient with the CA of the, yeah, and see the results. You cannot even uh, digest water. Now she's well now. Migraine, mental exhibition. This for the frozen shoulder. Very nice result with the frozen shoulder patient. Okay, thank you. It's a very long talk in very less time. If you have any other question, you can come to me on my website or email address. Thank you very much.